They say Mercedes-Benz is the most luxurious in every segment it chooses to be in. And trust me, there's a lot of them. Now, it's been a while since I sat in a new Mercedes and this 2019 CLS gives a very good first impression. What is up you guys, Master Car Zebra here and today I'm going to be showing you how luxurious a new Mercedes can get. The Mercedes CLS 450 in today's review comes standard with Merck's 4MATIC all-wheel drive. Completely redesigned as of 2018, this CLS is finished in citrine brown metallic exterior color and Napa Marchiato beige leather on the interior. Starting price of the CLS 450 is $78,000 in the US. Mercedes Lebanon prefers you go to the showroom personally to give you their price. Now let's talk more about the interior. Now as you know guys, I'm a big fan of BMWs and I've been reviewing BMWs for the past, I mean, maybe three months. I've reviewed the new X5, the new X3, the new X2, the BMW M2 even. And then coming on to the new Mercedes, honestly, it feels kind of familiar. Now don't get me wrong, it has nothing to do with BMW, its rival, but I mean, you feel this German sportiness, you just can't smell it inside and you've got top notch technology inside. I mean, this steering wheel, this kind of white steering wheel, wow, it looks really, really nice. And you've got this beautifully designed trim right here. Wow, looks really good inside. And then I'm going to be showing you more of the interior in a few, but then looking at it, you know, the general feel of the car, it feels really nice. I mean, look at those seats, the way you've got these lines in them, this very bright leather, it looks really really good. I'm a big fan of the interior. Now touching on the steering wheel, it's a beautiful three-spoke multifunction white leather wrap steering wheel. I really like the way it looks. You've got these stitchings right here to match you know the interior. Then you've got aluminum bits. These spokes are all in aluminum. Gives it a very expensive feel. And I really like this portion right here with the Mercedes emblem of course. You've got paddle shifters behind that. Plastic paddle shifters and they're kind of small. And then you've got these two screens. Mercedes has been doing the dual displays for a while now and this new CLS isn't short of that. You get two 12.3 inch high resolution displays finished in gloss black bezels to give an illusion of one big central screen. The instrument panel is highly customizable via the controls in the wheel. Now to turn on your middle screen, you've got this button right here and shows you Mercedes-Benz, you've got this new updated interface. Now this is not the uh, updated ones, I'm going to be showing you in the new A-Class that we've got right there, how uh, they changed this uh, portion right here, but it still looks really, really good. And then coming on to the dashboard right here, you've got these four uh, air vents. Look at this beautiful trim that you've got around the car, on the doors, and even in the back too. You've got your typical, you know, controls for the climate control right here. And then your Mercedes-Benz uh, analog clock. I really like the addition of that. It gives it a very, you know, expensive feel to the car. And you've got shortcuts for the screen. For example, for, if you go for navigation and the radio and all of that. You've got some storage space right here. I've got my phone here. You've got a 12 volt power outlet with two cup holders. Then opening up the center console right here, it has a decent size, you can put a lot of stuff and you can put right here, two, there's two USB ports and an SD slot, which is really nice to have. And then opening up the glove box, it's kind of a big glove box, you can, it has a decent size and actually goes through and right there, it's, it has a perfect size. Now also adding to the luxury of the CLS, 
Look at this start stop engine button. Looks really good. I just want to press it and go on for a drive in this beautifully looking saloon. So guys, we've got the keys to the CLS. Let's go ahead and turn on the car. And would you look at that ambient lighting. Wow. Wow, this is this is really good. Now we can go ahead and touch on uh, the screen more in details. Ambient lighting. And then you can actually choose from many, many different colors. Let's go for fire red, for example, and as you can see, the interior changes. For example, going to, to dawn blue. You see how the interior changes? Wow. Okay, this is this is really cool. You can actually change that. Um, green. Yep. There you have it. I kind of kind of like the fire red ambience in here with you know the the yellow right here on the air vents now guys since we have the car turned on this is the button to change between your driving modes let's say for example I scroll between that you'll have it right here and on the right too going for example from individual sport plus sport comfort and eco and you can actually see how the rev meter is going up and down Let's, for example, go into sports. It doesn't take more than two people to agree that the new CLS cabin is a delightful place to spend long miles in. It features the quality level you would expect from a Mercedes. The leather seats are power adjustable from the controls on the door and they look and feel plush and comfortable. The interior transforms completely when you fiddle around with the ambient lighting. Just imagine how it would look like at night. You can choose from 64 different colors, but you have to make them work together. You are able to open the trunk from two ways, as you can see for yourself. And then the CLS provides about 11 cubic feet of trunk space which is unfortunately one of the lowest in the class. The CLS 415 now uses a 3 liter turbocharged inline 6 engine, inline not a V6, kicking out 362 horsepower and 500 Nm of torque. Now since the new CLS is now a hybrid, it's aided by a 48 volt system which adds 22 horsepower. All four wheels are powered via a 9-speed automatic transmission. Now, unfortunately, we will not be having a CLS 63 uh, for this generation because we've got the GT 63 and that would create a competition within the brand. Alright, so first of all look at this beautiful interior. Now sitting down in the back seat of the CLS, um, headroom, I barely got any headroom. I mean my head actually touches the roof, I'm 185 centimeters. I mean it's a coupe, it's not meant for big and tall guys maybe like me or even taller. And then legroom, as you can see, it's, it's fairly good. The seat is a bit moved forward but it's fairly good and look at the uh, bits and pieces that we've got in the back too with the two air vents. I really like the way it looks, it's very very luxurious inside. You've got these beautiful seats here too with the armrest of course, leather wrapped as always and then you've got your cup holders right here, really nice to have. Then closing them up, look at the ambience in the car. Now what I really like in this car is this uh, color spec on the interior, this white bright color. It looks really good and uh, gives it an overall you know uh, bright and uh, luxurious feel in the car. Now guys let's go ahead and check out the new A-Class showing you more of the interior. That's kind of a bonus for you guys and uh, yep, let's go there.
okay guys, so we're in the new A class. Looks really good. The new updated steering wheel. You've got two seven inch screens. They're not the uh, big optional screens, but I like the design of it right here. Now it's, it's very different from the new CLS. You feel like the CLS is way more luxurious, but this is this is brand new, and I really like uh, the new A class. It's a very cool looking hatchback. You got the new uh, updated stuff right here, so that's really cool to have. Look at those sporty seats. Every person I show the new CLS to stares in awe, asking immediately how much it costs. It looks expensive. Every single thing about it feels expensive. From the aggressive headlights to the chrome grill, the CLS never looked better. And that being said, the rear end doesn't quite agree with that. It's one of those cars that you prefer the front over the rear. It feels like not the same team of designers designed the car together. Now our tester is optioned with the AMG line appearance package adding this sportier look to the car. Also optional is this exterior lighting package which gives you those mean looking LED headlights as well as high beam assist and ultra wide lens. With the taillights lighting up the rear, it kinda looks good but you can easily change your mind from some angles. The CLS, which started the whole coupe for do saloon thing, still looks as aerodynamic as ever with a drag coefficient of just 0.26, which is way lower than a Huracan and a 458 Speciale. The fenders also appear to bulge more aggressively around our $750 20-inch AMG alloy wheels. So how luxurious is the new CLS? Very much so. Stepping into other Mercedes models in the showroom, like the new A-Class, you instantly feel the difference. Which is a good thing, right? I mean, you're paying double and triple the price and you actually feel it. It's a totally different ambience, which imposes poise, luxury, and elegance. And to be honest with you guys, as much as it is luxurious on the inside, I feel there's something missing inside. You don't feel any charisma on the interior, it's just a luxurious one. And that's it. The CLS 450 is appealing to all road users and one cannot miss its presence on the road. It is the first to wear Mercedes new design styling, now being shared with its siblings, which makes it a significant car in Mercedes future design language. I personally like the new aggressive front end, but I have second thoughts about the rear. And it's not just on the CLS, the new GLE for example, and even the gorgeous GT63 4 door doesn't look as good at the rear as it does on the front. Now, coming back to the CLS, is it eye-catching? Definitely. Is it segment-leading? Absolutely. Is it worth your money though? It's up to you to decide. So guys, that's it for today. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. And by the way guys, yesterday my X5 review hit 100,000 views, which is insane. Thank you to each and every one of you. And well, till then, take care everybody. See you soon. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> what he said.